We're interviewing Chief John Kapika of the Greenberg Police uh, Department. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the department? Well, the department, uh, uh, we, we are the fifth largest municipal police department in the county of Westchester because Greenberg is the fifth largest municipal entity. We have an authorized strength of 122 police officers. Currently, we're about 117 because of retirements. Uh, what makes us somewhat unique among other police agencies is that uh, we provide a service that is, uh, is not generally done through the police department, and that's we deliver emergency medical services to the residents of the unincorporated town of Greenberg, which includes ambulance transports to hospitals, uh, basic and advanced life support uh, to people that have medical emergencies. We also deliver uh, advanced life support services to the six incorporated villages within the town. And this is kind of uh, unheard of uh, having police officers do that. Usually it's done by uh, private companies or volunteer agencies that are associated with the community. So that makes us somewhat unique. And um, is crime up or down? Or well, high or low? Well, we've had, we've been uh, uh, benefited from a significant reduction in crime over the last about 15 years. Recently, the first six month statistics for 2008 seem to indicate a, a small increase in part one offenses, which is not unusual because uh, it, it, there are hills and valleys with, with crime. It may not uh, manifest itself in an increase over the 12 month period. While we've seen a decrease in secondary offenses, what we call part two offenses, less serious crimes, like drug related uh, uh, offenses. So overall, I'm still pleased with the uh, with, with crime in the town of Greenberg and how we've managed to control it. Uh, I, I do see uh, this little anomaly. Uh, hopefully, uh, it won't manifest itself in, in, a, in an annual increase. Uh, we also have a neighborhood watch program and gives action steps that people could take to make themselves safer. Well, that's correct. Uh, uh, the, the police department really, we, we have limited resources when compared to the resources available to us from the community. The community, uh, most uh, neighborhoods know the people that should be in their communities. They know who belongs there. They know who the delivery people are. They know who uh, the landscapers are. Who come and cut grass. We, we don't know that. So uh, it, it's very, very helpful to us if people either participate in a formal neighborhood watch or a informal neighborhood watch, but when they report incidents to us that they feel are suspicious in any nature. This is how we resolve crimes and how we prevent them from happening. Uh, yes, we do uh, solve crimes through gaining, through obtaining forensic evidence it seems, but the vast majority of offenses are uh, resolved through citizen input. And obviously the neighborhood watches also instruct people in how they can make their home safer. Lights at night, for example, on timers when people aren't going to be home. Uh, motion sensors in backyard that, that trigger lights. Having people pick up your mail when you're away on vacation. In the wintertime, having someone shovel your driveway or your walk so it appears someone's in the house when, after it snows. There are common sense things people can do to uh, lock in your car in your driveway. I mean, we've had a few instances recently where there were larcenies from vehicles. Most of them were from unlocked cars. They could have all been prevented by, by a simple common sense uh, move to lock your vehicle. Although some people believe it's onerous because Greenberg is not noted for high crime. And they say, gee, it makes me feel a little unsafe. But it's just common sense, lock your vehicle and you can prevent the crime. Lock your front door. Some of the burglaries we've had are, were for unlocked through unlocked uh, premise doors. And uh, the final question is, if people don't see a, a police car, that doesn't mean the cars may not be... The police may not be patrolling uh, the streets. You also have undercover cars. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in fact, when we have uh, uh, criminal activity in a certain area, and I, I'm particularly the, the burglary spate we had in Edgemont earlier uh, this year, uh, we want to catch these people. And you don't you don't catch people generally by having marked patrol units in an area. So we assign plainclothes officers in in inconspicuous cars. I mean. Most people can tell that the, that's a Ford Crown Victoria. It may not have police written on the side, but it's a police car. We use cars that are primarily seized in uh, uh, drug offenses and things like that that really are nondescript, and we put officers in those vehicles that really don't look like police officers. And that's how we uh, uh, in infiltrate a neighborhood with this type of patrol, and we manage to. We're more successful in apprehending the individuals that are committing crimes. Great, so thank you. Quite welcome.